Hi, my name is Christopher Drost and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking about how do you know that you're trans and what do you do when you think your friend might be transgender? First of all, let me apologize. Uh, I'm filming today, but outside they are working on the roads, on construction, so you might hear that in the video. Uh, there's nothing I can do about it, I'm sorry. Sarah asked me a while ago, how do you know that you're transgender? This is a question that I have had to answer a lot after I came out because a lot of people I had to explain everything to. And it's actually really hard to put your finger on exactly what it is. The simple answer is really, you just know. I get that that is not very informative. So I am trying to put it into terms that are a little bit easier to understand if you are not transgender. Before I begin, I want to mention that there is a divide in the trans community. Whether you need gender dysphoria to be trans or not. In my next trans video, I'm going to talk more about that divide. But for today, it's important to know that I will be talking about my own experiences. I have diagnosed gender dysphoria. So I do not know how people that do not experience gender dysphoria know that they're trans. If you want to know that, you have to ask them. Today I'm going to talk about how I know that I am transgender. How do you know you're trans? This whole question leads back to your gender identity. I know I'm trans because I know I'm a man and I also know that I have a female body. The next question is inevitably, how do I know I'm a man? This for me is where gender dysphoria kicks in. At best, I feel awkward, uncomfortable and weird in my own body. And the more I can make it look male, the more comfortable I feel. And exactly how I do that, I will talk about in later videos because passing is really something that should have its own whole video. And I have yet again come up with an analogy to help you understand better what I mean. I want to make the comparison with being in pain. You don't register consciously that there's a lack of pain when you are not in pain. Gen Gender identity is similar to this, that when your body matches your gender identity, you don't notice it because there is no disconnect. But when your body doesn't match your gender identity, that is when you feel it, just like you feel you're in pain. This analogy makes it a little easier to understand why cis people don't usually think they have a very strong sense of gender identity. Cis people don't have to consider what gender they are because it is obvious it is just there. And that is, works the same for people who are trans. We just know, but our body doesn't match. That's it. I cannot think of a way to make it any clearer how to know that you're trans. So I hope this helps. If you want to know more about gender dysphoria, I will link that up in the cards for you. And now onto the question that nobody asked me. What do you do when you think one of your friends might be trans? I recently gave advice about this topic to a friend and as I was giving it, I realized how important it is for people to know, especially for allies. Now I'll dive right into it. The absolute best thing you can do for a friend who you think might be transgender is to let them have their own process. It is quite something that you have to figure out yourself at such a basic level. And it is a very delicate process. So it is very important that you let them come to you instead of pressuring it. Now that doesn't mean that you cannot do anything for your friend because there is something you can do. You can make sure that your friend knows that you're an ally, that they know that if they are ready for it, they can come to you. And there is a couple of ways you can do this. Bring up the topic in a positive way. So so for example, just watch a couple of episodes of Orange is the New Black and strike up a conversation about how amazing it is. Hey, did you know that this actress is trans? Watch a documentary, do some research and start talking about it. Like, hey, I watched this documentary. Do you know it? Have you seen it? Do you want to watch it together? And don't forget to tell your friend how amazing it is and how you would absolutely support somebody if there was anybody near you. This will let them know that they can come to you when they're ready. But for the love of God, be subtle about it. And do realize that even if you mean well, you can do some significant damage to their process. This can happen when somebody feels pressured or threatened and they can go in denial or they can move much faster than they intended to. Just 
let people have their own process in it. For me personally, it was very important that that first part of the process was really mine without any influences from other people around me because I had to figure this out. And it is something that I did this first part of the process all by myself um, gives me a lot of reassurance now because I know that nobody pressured me into this. I figured this out by myself without anybody out there who was pressuring me or threatening me. All in all, it is just really, really important that you give your friends space and let them know that you are there to support them if they choose to come to you. That's all I've got for you today. Thank you, Sarah, for asking this question. I think it's a very difficult question, but it's also a very important question because there's a lot of people that are wondering how people know. And well, this is how I know. Now for the question of the day, how do you cis folks know that you're cis? And if you're trans, how do you know you're trans? I'm especially curious to see any answers from people that are trans that do not experience gender dysphoria. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And while you're down there, you can subscribe to my channel. I post videos on Thursdays. even something like worse happened I noticed that I can see my reflection <laughs> and now I'm watching my mouth talk yeah that's that's what's happening yep <laughs> oh this video is gonna be amazing